Hello, my name is Jennifer Mesidor and I am from The Vocalist Magazine and today we have with us Loke. Let, us, let me just leave you to introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is Luke Kay, a uh, singer-songwriter um, out of Montreal, Canada. Nice. Um, so before everything, um, I want to ask you a little bit about yourself, just, to, just for the viewers to have a little bit of understanding of who you are. Um, well, uh, like I mentioned, I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I was born in Montreal, um, grew up in Florida, uh, moved to LA, Atlanta, kind of moved around a lot. Um, and uh, pretty much I do music. I've written songs for for a lot of established artists in Canada and outside mm. of Canada as well. Nice. Yeah. Um, so uh, to start, uh, how did you how did you get into the music industry? How did you start writing music for so many legends? Well, um, I started um, in the music industry uh, by actually, well, I grew up in the church, um, mm -hmm. like most, <laughs> most yeah. artists. Um, that's where I pretty much picked up music. Uh, my dad was a choir director. My mom sang in the choir. My sister sings. My brother plays instruments. I also play um, the piano, the bass guitar, or the drums. It's definitely in the blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's been around me growing up. And... Um, And obviously, like, I did a few festivals um, in my early days. Um, and then uh, uh, what really pretty much put me, um, I would say, I, officially, I, I would say when I signed to, I was signed to the Neptunes. I was in a boy band nice. um, in L.A. Wow. It was right after B2K had broken up. So, like, every Ooh. label were, like, okay. looking for the next boy mm. band, you know, four guys that can yeah. sing, dance with the look. Um, so I was part of that. Um, That didn't really um, last too long <laughs> for contract reasons, mm. um, but that's pretty much how I got started. And from from there, one thing led to another, and then um, started to write songs, um, and then it just evolved into you know uh, being able to to you know collab with different producers in the industry and able to pitch to certain artists. Mm. And yeah, one thing led to another. And you just uh, spoke about having uh, problems with some labels. Um, how is it? How easy or difficult is it to work with labels these days? Um, it, it depends. I mean, I won't say that it's 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 diff it really depends what label because it's not you know one label don't really define every label. Um, it's just that particular situation. The contract was really not a good contract, so mm. uh, my lawyer did not allow me to sign it, and yeah. and uh, that was a good move because I definitely would have been stuck in a really bad contract if I did. Okay. But um, but yeah, a label could could be um, useful yeah. if the contract terms are right, you know. Right. Um, that's why y'all. I mean, it's it's advised to always um, have an entertainment lawyer mm -hmm. look at your contract to make sure that um, you're protected and not being taken advantage of. And what about those artists that goes independent uh, now? Um, is it a good move to go independent, do you think? It is, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm independent, distributed by a major. So mm -hmm. what that means is I have my own label, yeah. but I'm distributed by a major. So I kind of, it's, it's not really a partnership because I still finance everything. But in a way, you still use... You still, um, <laughs> oh, I got distracted Sorry. for a second. Um, so yeah, yeah, it, it 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 definitely can be a, a um, beneficial, um, and you're more in control of your your career that way. Mm -hmm. um, but it, like I said, it's not signing directly to major can be good, really good, because they have all obviously the the right channels in yeah, place. They've yeah. been doing this for yes. for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's literally just plug and play for them. Um, Independent, it's going to be a bit harder, longer, but in the end, you get to control your destiny. Exactly. You know? So yes. you at your own pace. Yes, it, it might be a bit slower. Yeah. Um, but at the end, you own your masters, you control what you want to do, what you don't want to do. At least, yeah. 
Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, um, and you've worked with legends like Johnny Wright, Will Baker, artists like Carl Wolf. Um, how did you get the opportunity and how was it? Well, Johnny Wright, uh, <laughs> well, another um, group that fell. Well, what happened is that after um, I was signed to the Neptunes and that you know didn't, didn't go well, mm -hmm. I was um, in another group. Now, that group was not for guys a la B2K. It was... Um, a combination of girls and guys in there. Okay. So we were five. Okay. So it was three girls mm. um, and two guys. So yes. it was one uh, uh, Caucasian male. Mm. I was a black guy. There was a black girl. There was a girl from England and there was a girl from America. Okay. So it was kind of like an international yes. girl guy group. Yeah. Um, it was a really dope concept. I mean, the concept of the group was pretty much we were going to remake old hits, but modern sound. Mm -hmm. So it was very promising, but unfortunately... Um, one of the girls in the group got pregnant. Oh. <laughs> and that was it for me. I was like, you know what? I'm done oh with groups. Oh, my God. Okay. And, and that's when I decided to really go solo. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And um, how was that experience? And that was, by the way, that was Johnny Wright. Johnny we Wright. Yes. Johnny Wright and you work uh, for Carl Wolf, I believe. Carl Wolf, yeah. Yes. How was that experience for you? Oh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty dope. Um, I wrote um, one of Carl's um, big hits, Yalla Habibi. Yes. Um, I got a gold plaque for that one. Um, I also wrote Congratulations. several. Thank you. Mean? Yes. <laughs> I also um, wrote a few more songs for him uh, that got me nominated at the Juno uh, Awards as well, too. So, yeah, it was a great experience. Carl's a, is a good friend of mine. Mm. Um, it's, it's pretty magical when we work together. Every every time that we, we talk, yeah. we're like, man, we have we gotta get in the studio again. I'm like, yeah, we have to, you know. But yes, yeah, good vibes. So you were nominated for the, the Juno Awards, um, which you said it was for Ala Baby. No, it was for another song called Eighties Baby. Eighties Baby, 80s okay. Baby, yeah. And how does it feel to be rewarded for such? Um, well, it was well, it was. It's, uh, well, it's not completely rewarded because it's a nomination. We yes. didn't win, but yeah. it's still a great um, yes. achievement, I yes. will say. Um, sure. It feels good, you know, because as a songwriter, you you want to be recognized um, for your craft. You know, you want people to like your songs. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's something that is very personal to to every songwriter, right? It's like they're a little baby. Yeah. And once it's out in the world, you're like, okay, are they going to like it? And then yeah. when you see the response being um, positive, positive, it's definitely a good thing. Nice. Yeah. Um, so you are a songwriter and you transition to being an artist. How is that transition? Um, how was it and how is it still going? Well, to be honest, um, it wasn't really much of a transition for me because um, I was doing both, um, both side okay. by side. Right? Yes. So I was being an artist, but I was also writing. Mm -hmm. So it, it never really felt like I had to transition. It was really more like, you know, both of them, both of these things are my passion. I love to sing. I love mm. to write. So, how do you stage, jungle? How do you um, deal with both? Yeah, it could be a, it could be a bit tricky because um, you know sometimes I'll I'll write songs um, for myself and then and then I'll play it for somebody like another artist and they're like, oh my god, I want it. So you're like, uh, uh -huh. you know, so you have to decide. Okay, do I keep this for me or do yeah. I let it go? So. That's the only thing, but um, it's it's not really that hard. I mean, when you, the only thing is that when you're writing for somebody else, you have to be in a different mindset, right? Because mm. you're not writing for you. You know, yeah. if I'm in a, if I'm if I'm in a studio with another artist and they want a certain type of record, then I have to channel these emotions and the direction that they're trying to go into. Yeah, so I'm guessing from that you you have to build like a character. Yeah. Because you're a songwriter and an artist. Yeah. Um, how do you find the the balance between those two? Um, honestly, uh, me, when I write for other people, like I said, um, I like to, to sit down and connect with them, you know, mm -hmm. to really see where their mind is at, maybe see if they, they have a story mm -hmm. um, and, and kind of dig in their, their brain and, and kind of see how they think, um, if there's certain personal experience that they want to share. Um, I'd like to know about it so that way when I write I kind of keep these things in mind and channel those emotions mm. yeah. and uh, another question uh, what are the keys uh, to become a songwriter would you say the keys um, to constantly for those who wants to uh, be a songwriter um, well definitely put in the work mm. um, it's it's 
just because you're not great at the beginning, it doesn't mean that you can't get there, mm-hmm. right? I mean, the other day, uh, <laughs> the other day I was cleaning, um, I was you know doing some cleaning around, and I came across like an old CD which yeah. had like my first song that I wrote, and oh mm-hmm. my god. I listened to this today and I'm like, oh my God. No, it wasn't good. I mean, it was good, but like, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, oh my God, I came a long way, you know? That's all I could really think of. Mm -hmm. But back then I was like, oh, this is the best thing, you know? Mm -hmm. But but yeah, there's always room for growth, you know? Um, I would say to be very open to hearing different styles, um, different types of lyrics, different approach. Um, especially collaborating with other writers because you can always learn something from somebody else Mm because there's not one way to write a song. There's there's so many ways, right? Mm -hmm. And you can learn um, from each other, from other people. And how how did you not give up because songwriting is uh, one thing but getting it to the right people is another thing? How did you achieve that? Well, in the beginning, I had to do a lot of networking, you know? Um, I, I started when... Uh, MySpace had just came. Yeah. I don't know if you remember yes. MySpace. Yes. And what I what I used to do, so I had like I wrote like I had four songs that I had written and recorded myself, and I put it on my MySpace page, and then I would just like send a message, copy paste to like twenty Everyone. people every day. Yeah. You know, hey, let's collab. Hey, let's collab. Hey, mm. listen to this. And until I started to build a network and then get recognition and, and getting requests. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it's really like, you know, going places, events, um, and, and network and kind of like let them know what you do. And then they're like, oh, let me hear something. And we exchange email, I'll send them, you know. So it, it's really about networking because like they say, you know, your network is your net worth. It's the same thing, mm-hmm. you know, for songwriting. You, you, at, at least in the beginning, once you have a publisher, you know, when you sign a publishing deal, then it becomes a bit easier because they'll put you in the rooms with the right people, with the right artists. They'll yeah. set you up in situations for you to be able to write for specific people. And speaking of working with others, who influenced you the most in the industry? Uh, okay. Um, I have a at few. the moment. Oh, at the moment? Yes. Oh. And at the beginning also. Okay, let's, at the let's beginning, I would yeah. definitely say, obviously, like everybody, Michael. Mm-hmm. Then for me, it was um, Usher. And then, uh, obviously, Boyz II Men and Brian McKnight, those guys. But um, Brandy also. Ooh. So I okay. would say 8701, the album of Usher, and Brandy's Full Moon mm. is the two albums that really, like, nice. sh- like shaped me. Okay. Because from those two, I learned so much. It, it made me grow in so many ways that they probably don't even, they can't even imagine. What about right? Brandy do you like? Brandy, oh my God, Brandy! <laughs> I mean, Brandy is like in the industry. She's known as like the vocal bible. Yes. Because her vocal arrangements, like if you if you sit down and you listen to Full Moon song mm-hmm. by song, and you pay attention to those background vocals and the arrangements and the and the, the ad libs, and it's not like she's doing so much. It's like the right placements, right? Because mm-hmm. you, you don't want to be like ah, woo, and right. do it all over the track. She right? has like, a sweet voice. A smooth, yeah. The right placement, the right ad libs, the right harmony and it's just tasteful mm. and you can learn so much from that you know she's she's for me she's the the vocal bible the know? vocal and, and for a lot of people in the industry as well and, and then, is uh, today uh is it still the same today i mean yeah but they haven't really been putting out a lot of records so i kind of like go back to their old stuff but mm-hmm. today as far as new artists i like um bruno mars a lot um I like Lucky Day. Mm-hmm. Um, I like her. Yes, her's nice, really nice. Yeah, Jasmine Sullivan. You know, I'm 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 from the old school, so I love yes. like real vocalists. You know, yeah. but of course I like the the club bangers and stuff, and mm-hmm. and, and the the party music, of course. But like in terms of like who I would sit down and really listen and try to study. Yeah, yeah. is there anybody would you like to collab with? Your dream collab, let's say. <laughs> um, Brandy, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, um, her, mm. yeah, these guys, Bruno Mars, for sure. Um, and even you know, I said that in the past in one of my old interviews. 
Um, Taylor Swift, surprisingly. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Be- because I feel like she's like from a different world, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I think combining my flavor and her would be something pretty interesting. Nice. Yeah. And um, just to get a, f- a few um, observations from the beginning, um, h- did you get a lot of help to uh in the start to start your career how was it um did you get a lot of support was there a lot of competition um what kept you going um to not give up and to inspire others um yeah of course i mean in in this industry you can't really um do everything by yourself you have to have help so of course i had um great people that i've you know came across along the way You know, I had, you know, great management, um, my sister. In the beginning, my brother and my sister. Um, I've had also, uh, like, Mark Evans, um, Angelo Cadet. Uh, I mean, there's so many people that I, that I probably can't even name everybody. Yeah. But, of course, um, I've had some, some pretty cool people that came um, and, and had their input or helped or open a certain door, you know, introduced mm-hmm. me to a certain person or... You know, so yeah, for sure. You you need that in in, yes. in this industry. You can't do it all by yourself. Yeah. It's, it's impossible. Awesome. It's impossible. Yeah. Awesome. Um. So, uh, we know that you work um with uh Carl Wolf and many other producers and people in the industry. Um. Is there any upcoming um songs that you have wrote or? working on at the moment any projects that you want to share us yeah um i was actually in france uh recently um i had a couple shows there i was actually um performing a duet with this artist um named milka over mm-hmm. there um and we also shot a music video for for that song and um and i also have a new music that i'm that i'm pretty much working on okay this time it's more Um, I'm changing the direction a bit, the sound, um, mm-hmm. and even the language. It's going to be a bit more French and okay, English. Okay, nice. I'll still have I'll still have English in there, but it'll be um, mainly French and 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 English. Okay. Because uh, I'm definitely um, aiming the uh, the European market. You okay. Know? So that's definitely the next the next step. Okay, yeah. nice. And you said a new sound. Um, yeah, it's more. It's more because you know you know people know me more for like, you know pop r&b dm and stuff um yeah. now i'm going more towards like a afro beat zook okay. nice. um, awesome. R- and r&b as well too but it'll be in, in french and english okay like and for english fusion kind of. nice and this is gonna be this year of this upcoming. well i'm working on it right now it's i'm um you know the 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 beauty of of being independent is you go at your own pace yes. right so yeah. it's it's i don't like to rush the whole creative process i like to To, to let things flow um, I'm all about energy and if, if I don't feel it that day I come back to it another day mm-hmm. and 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 kind of just really go with with the flow but um, I'm I'm aiming to I'm taking this whole month because mm-hmm. like past couple months been kind of like um, you know very busy for me um, but I'm taking this month to really like lock in and try to finish those songs um, and hopefully hopefully we can get something out before the end of the year if not probably at the top of 2023 awesome excited to hear about that um so do you still doing a songwriting for others also sorry you still doing songwriting for others also uh yes but not as um it's not as uh as much as before okay. in terms of the frequency right mm-hmm. like uh i want to finish my project first you know because because If I, you know, I don't want to spread myself too thin at the same time because I also have other businesses as well too. So there's a lot of things that I'm doing. So I'm trying to make sure that um, I don't um, neglect my project. Mm-hmm. So once that's going to be done, then I'll be doing a lot more than that. But yeah, I'm, I'm currently producing for this artist in France. While I was there, I started. Yeah. Um, and I'm kind of like pausing a little bit just so I can finish my project. And once I'm done, then I'll be um, back working on her stuff. And then I'm also... Um, working on um, well I haven't started but we're, we're in talks um, with mm-hmm. this artist from here her name is Magdala okay um, we might have something in the works that we're trying to do together you know maybe a duet um, for a project so we'll see 
Okay, that's great news. Yeah. Um, so, two last questions. Uh, what advice would you like to give to other artists at the moment that wants to make it? And uh, um, Stay hungry. Mm -hmm. um, it's okay to have the desire, but you have to have the discipline. Um, you have to have the dedication. And you have to have the determination. Mm -hmm. So, stay hungry and apply those four Ds. And awesome. It should be good. Hear that. So, um, where do you see yourself in five years from now? Uh, the Prime Minister of Canada. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, in five years, um, hopefully touring the world, you know. Um, hopefully I could be touring the world, um, go to places that I haven't been yet, you know. Um, hopefully I can expand my, my fan base to Europe, Africa. I, I, I'd love to... to to go to Africa like yes. I'm, I'm one of those guys that I really look forward to like discovering um, the land of Africa because mm. we, we've been disconnected from motherland mm -hmm. although I'm Haitian but I think yeah. we all come from there yes. you know, before they scattered us across the globe <laughs> yes but um, I, 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 I've been I've been checking some some a lot of people on YouTube that um, that are showing the, the how beautiful Africa is and mm -hmm. how many op how much opportunities there is and and so much things that could be done there. So I'm definitely trying to see if I, how I can tap into that market as well. And maybe some collab with Davido. Of course, of, oh yeah, of course, oh yeah, for <laughs> yeah. sure, for sure. Yes. Davido, Bernard Ward, yeah, um, Malik Berry with Kid, yes. Tua Savage. Like I, I, I stay, yeah, yeah, for, yeah sure. for sure. So yes, thank you for coming um, to our studio. To day and we would like to thank you very much and it was a pleasure having you and hopefully next time we can hear something from you very soon yeah and we wish you the best of our luck thank you so much thank you for having me thank you